Oh, hey guys, how are you doing? So today I thought I would just share how you can generate images, basically either on your local computer or on the internet. So firstly, let's look at um, Copilot or Bing Image Generator as it be called. Now, you can basically generate some pretty good images just from putting a prompt in. Um, obviously, the more detail, the better. I'm going to quickly go through some of the images I've used recently. Dragon. Um, gnomes. German Shepherd. Uh, nostalgic 90s kids cartoons. Uh, you can do quite a lot. Oh, these were kind of nice, actually. So, yeah, you can basically just sign up at um, Bing Image Generator or whatever. But the issue is, as you can see, I guess, um, a lot of my prompts are blocked. And sometimes they get blocked for stupid reasons. Like, I don't even know what the reason is, you know. It's not like I'm entering anything really bad or anything. But, um, anyway. The strength of this is, you know, it's a pretty decent um, image generator. But what if you want to generate your own images? This is where I would recommend Focus. F-O-O-O-C-U-S. Just Google it. Go to the first result on GitHub. And we'll come to this page. Scroll down. And you'll literally see a download link. So download the program. Um, needs quite a bit of memory to install. Uh. It'll take quite a while to install as well. But... Uh, yeah, that's not an issue. Well, eventually when you run the program, you have this interface. So, let's, um, what should we put in? Smelly teddy bear, smelly teddy bear, smelly teddy bear, smelly teddy bear. And a, a mouse realistic. So you put anything you want in. Um, you can also pick these boxes, input image. So you can basically put an image in here and it will generate a new image based on this image. Um, pretty cool. Uh, on the right here you have the sizing so you can change the size. And this setting is really good actually. So you want 10 images. Shove it up to 10. Um, which is very, very nice. Oh yes. But I'm just going to go over the other options very, very briefly. Actually, let's start generating. Um, so you've got upscale. So these can basically use AI to make an image bigger. Um, doesn't always work perfectly because what it does, it basically retextures similar to the original image. Um, so you're going to get some issues. Image prompt is really cool. You can enter up to four images here. And um, if you put a face in, for example, then you can basically use that image or that face to generate other images. Um, so, I don't know. They find a nice image of me. Here we go. Here's an image of me. Kind of not good. We're going to go to... Um, actually, no, just take another image of me. Go to advanced at the bottom here. And now... Um, you have different options, so hit image prompt, Pyrocanny, I don't even know what these middle two are, but face swap is really good. Um, I would actually move this up to about 98. Now basically this is going to use my face in another image. Um, you can also put the weighting of this image in to basically decide how much my face should matter or my image should matter now the problem is if the weight is too high above one you probably get multiple copies of me um so you might get five copies of me which isn't good so it has to be below one basically and you can put in other images too if you want ever really um so there's a lot of other options uh style now there are loads and loads and loads of styles. For example, we could have an undead style. Um, expressionism. What about pixel art? So I don't understand 100% how these work. But what I assume is, it basically 
unlocks more libraries into the image generator. So the um, image generator can um, draw on a bigger number of um, image sources. So if you put too many of these in, you overwhelm it and it breaks. But um, anyway, it's generating uh, images that we put in originally. Um, then model basically uh, lets you decide which models, which engines you want to use. You can just go for it via um, image sharpness, guidance scale. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, there's other options too. So there's um, the standard, which is kind of a generalist. Anime, default, ICM. Don't know what that is. Realistic. Um, Self-explanatory, really. Um, performance is a big one. So, by default, everything's on speed. You can go for extreme speed, which basically renders a lot more quickly, but doesn't do such a good job. Quality, or else you can do lightning fast, which is really, really fast rendering, but again, lower quality. So, yeah, you can basically put any prompt in um, here and um, generate nearly a prompt um using something like ChatGPT, for example you actually ask ChatGPT to give you a really really good prompt for example um or claude or whatever image whatever dpt you um generator okay i put in smelly teddy bear smelly teddy bear so, um it's not really done the smelly bit but um <laughs> it's really cute actually as you can see all of these images are original. Um, you can basically use these for pretty much anything you want. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. Uh -huh. So, um, let's say you want this image here because it's cute. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Um, let's say you really like this image. You want to give it a hat. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down here and go in paint or out paint. Load up the image. It's going to be here. Now you select the bits that you. Um, so we're going to select the bear's head. And. Obviously, um, you want to cover the area that you want. You can create as many variations as you want. And we're going to say. Um, in paint or. I think we're going to improve a modify content down the bottom here. Um, add a cute red hat. Um, now again, I'm going to shove this in here too. We can now generate. Um, again, it's going to generate 10 images because of this setting here. Skip. Okay, so been a few seconds and um, we've kind of asked it to generate a hat on top of this teddy bear. Um, this looks really, really weird with its ears. This one's actually quite nice. The second one was being created at the moment. Have a look at that one. So again, you can kind of switch between them. This one, again, is kind of messed up the bear's ears, but um, this is actually quite a cute image now. It's kind of done something really weird by integrating the ears into the hat. Into the hat. So, uh, pretty freaking weird. Oh, this one's very nice. The red bits are a bit cartoony, but pretty nice, I think. So, I'm a big fan of Star Trek. So, I've just had an idea. Um, I've saved this image. Now we can edit this. So, what I'm going to do... I quite like um, Patrick Stewart's character, John Luke Picard. So I thought, what if we ask it to give it Patrick Stewart's head or something? Oh, another thing I should point out is there's also in the right menu here a negative prompt. That's what you don't want to see, basically. 
So you can put anything in here you want. You don't want to see five fingers, for example. You know, obviously see excluding the thumb. But okay. <laughs> Not exactly Patrick Stewart, but it kind of gives the impression a little bit. Oh god, what's this one? Uh, okay. It's making a bit of a cartoony version of uh, Patrick Stewart, broadly speaking. But this one looks quite good. Um, I like this one. Now, I think part of the issue is when I was selecting styling, I selected Minecraft, Dreamscape, Expressionism, Manga, for example. Um, so what you see is sort of using those databases, and, you know, those keywords, basically, which is probably why it looks quite weird and cartoony. But, uh, not getting there. I actually really like that one. It is kind of cool. Anyway guys, that was a super brief introduction. Um, there are other programs available to generate images, but I just thought I would share this one because I really like Fucus. It's um, a fantastic image generator. And like you can see here, it will generate images for all freaking day. So yeah, I like it. Right, we'll live long and prosper. Peace and long, and I will speak to you soon.